Julissa, did you know? Hello, the how are you? Office. Hi, hello, teacher. Hello. Hi. How you been? Ah, uh, yesterday I wasn't to be with you because the rain was very hard. Exactly. Yes. Uh, uh, you sent me a message. Yeah, I understand that perfectly. So don't worry about that. Okay. That's cool. Okay. How's your day going so far? We have a quiz today. Did you study, Madeline? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow, you're ready. Nice. Yes. She's always ready. <laughs> uh huh, guys. And tell me, how's your day going so far? Hey, Julie. Uh, enjoy your dinner. Thank you. I'm eating pupusa. Really? I oh, don't tell us, please. Don't be so. Don't be so mean. <laughs> I make. I make. Pupusas, I Did made. You, really? Me too. Uh, oh, I, yes. It's so, it's, a, it's a, um, is delicious. It? Yes. Delicious, yes. Did I you did. make Did you make them, uh, Julie? No, I, I'm cooking. Cook the kitchen is not my favorite thing to do. Oh, <laughs> okay. So basically you bought them. Yes, I bought them and there got, I got them with free delivery. I was like, wow. Really? That's nice. Yeah. Okay. In English, you say you enjoy it. Doesn't matter if it's uh, breakfast, uh, lunch, or dinner. And in French, you say bon appétit. Ah, bon appétit. Yes. In English, no. bon appétit. Bon appétit. Yeah. No, no teeth. You do not pronounce the termination in French. Bon appétit. C'est tout. Bon appétit. Yeah. Bon appétit. Bon appétit. I will write it. Bon appétit. I will write it. Because that's the way you, uh, yeah, that's the way you write it. But that that you don't, you do not pronounce a T termination. You just say bon appetit, and that's it. Yeah. And then bon in, in English is uh, uh enjoy it. Okay. And you know enjoy the it. Asthma for rain one because I use um, the knife and the the fork and the fork to eat pupusas. Really? I can't with the hands. I can't. I'm, I, I, I have to do it with the hands because it's delicious. Yeah, I know. I'll be every Salvador. Salvador. Salvadorian, yeah. Salvadorian. But you're not Salvadorian. You're from Honduras. I'm not Salvadorian. <laughs> yeah, but that's okay. It doesn't matter. As long as you love pupusas, that's fine for me. <laughs> All right. Very good. So we're going to let Julie to finish her meal right now in the meantime. <laughs> and also my, Miss Iris drinking like a cup of coffee, I think. Or a cup, cup of, of tea. tea. A tea? Me too. <laughs> Me too. I do have a tea. No, uh, and this was a gift, actually. I have a cup same. The same. It, 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 this was a gift from a, a friend typical. of mine. Yes. A Coffee yeah. at this time? No, tea. Ah, oh, tea. Oh, yes. Tea, tea to a relax, tea. you know? Like a British girl? Yeah. Of course, the tea. Oh, okay. there's always time for tea. <laughs> yeah, very good. So we do have a lot of people here. Oh my God, Danielle Cuvias. I love your picture. Oh, that's but nice. We haven't seen Thank him. Thank you. Yes, we have, but we like to see you alive. I like your hat, teacher. Thank you. I love yeah. it too. Yeah. I feel like Selena. <laughs> 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 yeah, very good. So we have a lot of people here. We have 17 guys. Oh, thank you, Daniel. Oh, but Daniel, you look good as well. So yes, please. Thank you. Yay. Hey, thank you you are, actually, you're a really brand new guy. What, what have, where have you been? Yes, uh, because I, I changed the, the, the time. Oh, uh, you have changed the schedule. Uh, before, before, yeah, before uh, my class is uh, 9 p.m. But oh, okay, from nine to ten. I changed. Yeah. So you changed it from eight to nine. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> yeah. I'm Indeed. sorry. Welcome, welcome, Daniel. Welcome to the jungle, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> hopefully, hopefully you you enjoyed the class. I, I'm a nice teacher. You can ask them, okay? New victim uh, teacher. <laughs> yes. yes. <laughs> a new uh, yes. How how you know that? <laughs> uh, uh, just kidding. And you can Are you in, kidding? Yeah. <laughs> in, no, actually no. <laughs> okay. Oh, actually, you came in such a really nice day because basically we're going to do like a lot of activities to like recap everything that we have seen so far. Especially, guys, uh, the indirect questions. We will keep on uh, eye, eye on it. 
and we're going to do a lot of activities. We're going to do a listening activity, and we're going to do a writing activity as well, and we're going to play a game, actually, but it's not Kahoo, okay? Oh. Oh, I know that you love it. I know. It, this is really nice. It, it, today was a really tough day for me, so it could be, to be honest with you, it was not, uh, I didn't have enough time to do it, because basically, Kahoo, I have to create it. Ooh, it's an it's an online um uh, I interactive game that I created myself. So it takes around time. It takes around depends one or two hours, but I couldn't make it. So I promise next coming week, okay? That next coming okay. week will be this week's topics and next coming week's topics. So it's going to be harder, but you will love it. I promise you will love it. But today you okay. will love it as well because we're going to play. And I have a digital dice as well. Dice. Do you know what, what is a dice? Yes. Dado. Exactly. That we're going to need because we are going to play. Today we're going to continue to develop the speaking skill and also the writing skill and as well the listening. Okay. As I promised to you. So are you guys ready for today's party? I'm ready. Yes, I'm ready. Yeah. Yes. Let the blood begin. <laughs> Not my blood. <laughs> uh, okay, no, I'm just teasing you. I just want to ask uh, somebody so we can continue practicing, right? The simple present and, and simple past as well. Uh, Omar, Hi. what a nice t shirt color. Tell me something. How are you today? Thank you. Well, here I'm still working. <laughs> yes, as always, right? Yeah, you have a really tough schedule. Yes, I have. A, a well, kind of some days, but it's it's not frequently. It's not frequently. Tell me something. Yes. Uh, how was your day? Can you please let us know what did you do besides working? Well, uh, yes, uh, all my day I was working and I was a uh, busy day, but okay. it was very, very nice. It was very, very nice. Exactly. Why it was nice? <laughs> Tell me. Well, uh, the weather it was very It was very really nice. hot, actually. It's, yeah. not in, it's not too hot. So. It's not too hot. Oh, my goodness. I was swearing like a pig. Okay. Yes. <laughs> really? It was not too hot for you? Ooh, it was no, really hot no. for me. Okay. Really? Listen carefully, guys, because you know that I'm asking questions. Okay. So you better be a good listener with me. Okay, okay. cool. Thank you so much, Omar. Mr. Osman, we're going to start with the O. Okay, <laughs> tell me something. I we already know that you do the same thing every single day. But <laughs> did you do something new today? Um, not this year. No. Uh, I, I always I wake up. Uh, I wake wake up late. Mm -hmm. uh, only this day I studied with my son in his work. Is in his homework. Okay, so you helped uh, all, your son. Yes, uh, all, all all afternoon. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, 20 minutes ago, uh, I took my dinner. Oh, uh, was, it was not pupusa, by the way, right? No, uh, I, 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 I like I like so much uh, tomato, uh, uh, vegetable, verdura uh, sala. I don't know how else. Okay, I... grilled vegetables. Yes, I, I love oh, uh, They're really nice and healthy, by the way. Yes. That's, oh, so that's that's nice. Very good. Listen carefully, guys. Okay, Bane, how are you? I'm fine, teacher. That's nice. Uh, did you do something special today? Only have to work no. all day. Only work today. Oh my God. Yes, yeah. I know. I am I'm tired. sorry to hear that. I know, but I'm really happy that I can see you because I know that for some of you, for most of you, you're still working like Omar, uh, but also it has been a really tough day for you and you're here in, on class. So it shows your commitment. And I really love that. Yes. I'm really happy to see you. Okay. So Thank that's okay. No problem. Uh, Iris, what about you? Did you do something special? Uh, yes, I uh, run for... 10 kilometers. Kilometers? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, because I, I accumulate kilometers for uh, running online. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> yes. That's good. Running online. Because for that, I, I sweat right now. <laughs> yes. She cannot run outside, so she has to do her yeah. exercise at home. Yeah, you see, Van is really it's, happy for you. 
<laughs> yeah, it's very hard because I only have six meters in my uh, living room. And also room. metal. <laughs> it's I know. not the same as running in the street. Yeah, it's not. it will never be the same, but at least you're doing exercise and you're uh, self-motivated and you get activated, which is really good. That's yes. nice. Excellent. <laughs> All right. Monsieur Francisco Marano. Bonsoir, monsieur. Good night. Good night. How are you? I'm fine, thanks. And Very you? good. Uh, excellent, sir. With a lot of energy, as always. Tell me, did you do something special today? Mm. Well, mm. most of the day, I just did homeworks from the university. Okay. And that's everything I did today. That's everything? Okay, that's okay. Not a problem. Oh, Claudie, how are you, Claudie? Uh -huh. How are Hi, you? Girl? Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> how you been? Um, uh, nothing special. Nothing special. That's work. <laughs> yes. Oh, okay. Uh, oh my God, you don't do anything special. Come on. Not possible. <laughs> Let me ask somebody that might, uh, that might do something special. That's what I think. Miss Madeline. Hello. Hello. Did you In do something morning? special today? You see? Yes. Oh, yeah. In the morning, I was working, um, sending the class at my students. Okay. Uh, at the afternoon, I was buying my food at the supermarket. Mm -hmm. I, I was um, walking around the, the, the street. Um, and I was fine. Okay, that's nice. Very, very Excellent. Cool. Raul, what about you? Vegetables. I was uh, buying vegetables. Vegetables. You can share yes. with Osman. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Raul, what about you? Well, today I woke up early at morning, um, at 6 p.m. 6 a.m. of the morning, and I cook, cooked uh, a bread. Okay. So I prepared the, the night before. <gasps> oh, you bake a bread? Actually, really? That's nice. Yes, it's like a tier, 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 uh, the, third time. The, the third time. The third third time that I... Mm -hmm. Was it good? That's his, what? Was it good? Yes, or, it's, I forget the... the Alt. You so forgot. I, okay, but that's okay. That's part yeah. of the process. <laughs> yeah. That's nice. Excellent. Okay, and my new big thing. Sorry, my new student, <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Daniel Cuvias. Tell me, tell us something. Uh, did you do something special today, sir? Um, really not. Uh, I was working all day, and uh, in my lunch, uh, after my lunch, I gave a little shower to my pet oh for, okay for the world is hot here ah. and uh, very hot very and, hot uh, okay. only that only uh, that I, I think yeah i finished my work at 7 p.m okay uh, really uh, i work together with vanessa with vanessa my co she she's your my boss oh my god oh okay yeah, no 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 phew <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Oh, really? So you work together? That's amazing. Okay, don't give yes, her a copy. Okay, Bane, same, please. In the same company. Oh, so ba ba Bane can give you some update information about how my classes are. Okay? Yes. I recommend, yes. I recommend your class because I think that is uh, great because we uh, do a uh, I don't know. I think that you're special to give us the, the, the class. I like it a lot. Sorry well, I really appreciate it. I do my best because my, my goal is for you to learn. But at the same time, that you enjoy classes also. And you practice. So we're going to practice as well, Tango Twister today, right? Yay. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm not going to, um, um, to teach you new ones. Basically, we're going to review the one that we have seen. But hopefully you have to study them because you need to do it by memory. <laughs> oh 
Oh my God, what a <laughs> what a face you have, guys. <laughs> Don't worry. <laughs> okay, very good. And last but no least, Maria. Mary? Maria, Hi. how are you? Fine, and you? Oh, I'm great, with a lot of energy. Ah, yes. <laughs> well, my day is uh, was a title because I was work all day. Okay. From uh, my computer and and I was the breakfast and I was the lunch and mm -hmm. I was the dinner and this is every day in my in my life and and this 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 um quarantine quarantine uh, quarantine okay i know that but that's good <laughs> at, at least you're improving your culinary um abilities yes yes and yeah. i and and you do and i i see a new menu mm -hmm. and i don't know it's, you can try it on why not yes, yes i will yes, try yes. to make some sushi no <laughs> yeah <laughs> I do have a friend who gave me an idea today, so like, hey, what's not? Why not? I search for Pinterest. I will try it. Hopefully, my well, husband has a good health, by the way. If not, yes. Yes. Okay, guys. So if you were listen very careful, I will ask you some questions if you don't mind. Okay. Could you please be so kind? We're going to practice indirect questions, okay? <laughs> Could you please be so kind to tell me uh, who said that help? his child uh, to do his homework. Osman was. Ah, come on, that was easy. Osman was. Okay, very good. All right, that's really good. You have a good memory, by the way. Who, say, who said that uh, she loved pupusas and also used fork and knife to eat them? Julissa. Julissa, very good. Okay, who said that uh, also uh, his co-worker is in this class? Vanessa and Vanessa. 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 Mr. Daniel. Exactly. Daniel, who, correcto. Who said that went to the supermarket to buy vegetables? Madeline. Madeline. Mm -hmm. Who said that loved grilled vegetables? Osman Hernandez. Y, um, Mr. Osman Hernandez, okay. Grilled. Very good. Who said, grilled hey, vegetables. you see, bravo, fantastic. Okay, bravissimo. And also, who said that has work the whole day. Eh, 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 we have a lot of people, Mar by the way. Mar Maria. 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 Okay, who else? Yeah. Iris. Eh, Iris. Who else? Omar. 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 Omar, Omar is still Omar working, Castro. actually. Francisco. Francisco. No. Yes. He was a study. Yeah. He was a study. Uh -huh. He was a study. And who else? And then work in the morning. Daniel. I don't work in the morning. No, but I mean the whole day. Okay. Oh. Very good. Excellent job. You see, you are really great, guys. That's what I love you. <laughs> okay. Excellent. So we're going to start the blood. Sorry, we're going to start a class today. Okay. And basically, guys, what I want you to do, we're going to start with the listening activity, okay? Because we need to develop the listening skill, okay? So hopefully you have done an uh, exercise on the platform because this is like a similar to the platform exercises. But basically, I just want you to pay attention to how the, the, um, the people in the dialogue use the indirect questions. The one that we have seen yesterday. Do you remember that? Could you please tell me? Do you know? Mm -hmm. any chance, know. etc. Okay. So I want you to pay attention, listen carefully, because after that, we're going to answer the questions related to the audio. And guess what, guys? I'm going to play it only one time. <gasps> no way. Yes, girl. Look at Daniel fellas, like, oh my God, what am I in? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, so do you remember that I gave you some tips for the listening yesterday? Yes. Okay, let's put it so, in practice. So what I want you to do, guys, is just to put all your Microsoft phones for, on mute and close your eyes while you're listening to the dialogue. And I will ask you to, uh, we're going to come back and then I'm going to ask you to open your microphones and then we're going to discuss dialogue. 
Okay. Cool. Okay, that's why I love yes. you. Yes. <laughs> okay, so allow me one moment when I search right now my screen. Okay, cool. And then I'm going to share right now with you. There you go. Okay, so um, I want you to close your beautiful eyes, please. Mm -hmm. Thanks. See the play. <laughs> All righty. So let me just a couple of minutes, and I just want to, to know, tell me as long as you're able to see my screen, please. Yes. Are you able to see it or no yet? Yes. Yeah. Yes? Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay, guys. Yes. So just close your eyes and listen to the dialogue, okay? And we're going to go back with the questions. Okay. About a city, your task is to listen carefully and I will ask you questions at the end of the audio program. Excuse me, could you tell me where the nearest ATM is? There's one upstairs, across from the duty-free shop. Great. And do you know where I can catch a bus to the city? Sure. Just follow the signs for transportation. Okay. And can you tell me how often they run? They run every 20 minutes or Excuse me. It's me again. I'm sorry. I need some more information, if you don't mind. Do you know how much the bus costs? It's $20. You can buy a ticket on the bus. $20? Wow. Well, a taxi costs about $50. Mm. Okay. And do you know where a bookstore is? I'd like to get a guidebook. Go upstairs and turn right. You'll see one on your left. Thanks very much. Have a nice day. You too. Okay. So, there you go. Okay, guys. Tell me something. Based on what you have listened, could you tell me where the nearest ATM is? We have three options. Can you see the my screen right now? No. Yes. No? Yes. yes or no? No. No. Yes. Somebody can and somebody can't. Okay, let me do it once again, if you don't mind. I can, teacher. What about now? Mm, yes, I can see. Yes? Yes, I can, I see. can see. Okay, yes, cool. Okay, guys, so we do have three possible options. Uh, where is the nearest ATM? Okay, we got, it's upstairs across from the duty-free shop. It's right behind you, yes. or there isn't any uh, ATM in the area. What would be the option? It's the first one. Across, 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 across from the duty-free duty shop. shop. Upstairs, oh. across from the duty-free shop. Okay, cool. I will trust in you. Let's double check on the second one. Uh, Mr. Osman, could you please be so kind to read for me the question? Um, Just the question. How often do you do that? Do the buses run, for example? Um, the, this one, the one that I'm, I'm on, second, highlighted. Second, yes. second option. Yes, please. No, I want you to read for me the question. Oh, okay, okay. I'm sorry. How, how often do, do the buses run? Uh, could you please read it again with question and intonation? How often do the buses run? Again, please. How often do the buses run? Again, please. How often do the buses run? Now, I just want you to read it with question and intonation. Uh, me, okay. How often do the buses run? Very good. That's what I need. Excellent job. What would be the answer for that, um, Omar? Okay, Omar. The answer. Why do you listen to me? Yes, we do. Can you listen? Yes, sir. The, the second one, they run every 20 minutes or so. Very good job. Okay, could you please be so kind to read for me question number three? Oh, Maria. There's a noise like a television. Yes. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Do me a favor, guys. Could you put just yourself uh, all your Microsoft on mute? Yes. And only the one that I asked the question, you need to unmute it, okay? Cool. Okay. Okay, okay. cool. So uh, we're talking with Maria right now. Okay, Maria, read that question, please. Okay. What other information does Eric ask for? Very good. Okay. Um, uh, Iris, could you please be so kind to answer for us? 
the cause of the the cause of a bus to the city. Very good. Is the cause of the bus to the city? Okay. Yes. Okay. Number four, mm, Mr. Jose de la Oz, please. Where's the nearest internet coffee? Uh, can you please do it again? Where's the nearest internet coffee? Coffee or cafe? Cafe. 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 Yes. Okay. Yeah. yeah right. Cafe in this particular place, and let me explain it to you guys. Cafe. We're not talking about the beverage. Cafe okay. is a restaurant. Okay. 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 Is the restaurant. Oh, yeah. Is so the place. Is the place exactly. So a cafe is like a, like a bistro. Okay. Okay. Yeah, okay, so in, in, there is no accent because, uh, of course, we're not talking about the beverage, we're talking about a place that you go and you can have like a little snack and a beverage with your friends, okay? So that's okay. a cafe, basically. Okay, cool. so tell me, guys, what will be the correct answer? This one, tell me, where's the nearest internet cafe? That is direct or indirect question, guys? Direct. Direct. direct question. Direct. Exactly. Direct question. Now, Ms. My Vanessa, question. could you please be so kind to transform this direct question in indirect question? Um, could you tell me where the nearest internet cafe is? Very good. Option mm -hmm. one, two, or three. Uh, number one. Okay, very good. And last but not least, um, Raul, could you please be so kind to read it for me the question? How do late do the buses run? Uh, can you do it again with question and intonation, please? How late do the buses run? Very good. Could you please be so kind to use a, this is indirect question. No, this is direct question, right? So could you please yeah. be so kind to transform it into indirect question? Right. Mm, let me double check. Mr. Francisco Mahano, s'il vous plaît. Um, can you tell me? We have three possible they... options. Mm -hmm. Ah, yeah, yeah. Uh, do you know how late the buses run? So it will be option number one, two, or three? Three. Okay. Shall we double check, guys, if we did it right or wrong? The question is already in Eindrick. Excuse me? The question. Is already I direct. That's what you think? Why okay. you say that? No, it is it is three for me. That's three. Okay. Uh, remember, guys, that when we use indirect question, do we use do? The auxiliary do. Um, for indirect questions. Answer. No. For direct, yes. For for indirect, for direct? we use it. No. 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 Exactly. Oh, okay. Exactly. So you need to be very careful with that. So let's. Yay! Oh my God! We got thirty-four points. Congratulations, guys! You are so good on that. Cool. All right. You see? Very good. We're continue practicing the listening. Now you can open all your microphones. That would be good. Okay. Cool. Excellent. Okay, guys. Now uh, we're going to continue listening. This is going to be so much fun because this is um an audio, a YouTube audio uh, actually video about the indirect questions and why they're really important. Okay, so you're going to listen some familiar accent. That means me. Okay. <laughs> yes, some familiar accent. You're going to listen because I have chosen uh, basically um, a British accent today. And I think oh. it's going to be a, also a Brazilian accent. Uh, that's what I think. I'm not, I'm not sure about it, okay, but you will see. Okay, so let me share right now my screen with you. And then we're going to discuss about it, okay? <laughs> we're, we're continue practicing the listening, guys. Uh, can you see it? Yes. Yes. Cool. Okay, let's listen. From bbclearningenglish.com. Hi, I am Igor. I came from Brazil. And uh, I usually ask questions uh, very uh, directly. And uh, like, uh, where is the bus station? But uh, uh, I, I want, uh, I would like to uh, uh, be more polite. 
And uh, how can I ask this? Can you help me? Do you know? Yes. Where's the toilet? Where's the hospital? All of those were direct questions. They're easy to ask and understand. But sometimes, if we want to be polite or friendly, we ask indirect questions, like this. We can use phrases like, you know, could you tell me, would you mind, and is there any chance you could... For example, do you know where the cafe is? Could you tell me when you'll finish the report? Would you mind telling me where the toilets are? Is there any chance you could help me with this? We can also use if and whether, like this. I wonder if you can help me. Do you know if there's a bank near here? Could you tell me whether Mark prefers fish or chicken curry? So now you can stop asking direct questions and start asking indirect questions instead. Okay, let's try. Uh, can I ask you, excuse me, could you tell me where the bus station is, please? Don't forget, sometimes it's better to ask a direct question. Like, if this goes off, don't ask, uh, excuse me, uh, would you mind terribly, um, if it's convenient to you, uh, telling me where the nearest fire escape is? It's okay to ask a direct question. Where's the fire escape? <laughs> okay, do you like it? Yes. Was it interesting? Yes. Yeah. Would you like me to play it one more time or is it it's okay? I have one question. Oh. I know that you're going to have a question, but uh, you can ask them. But I'm, I just want to know if you would like to play it one more time. Okay. Yes, please. Yes? Yes. Okay. Uh, who don't need it, by the way? Yes or no? Yes, yes. Please. yes. 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 okay. <laughs> We're going to do it one more time. Good. Go. Okay. <laughs> this is really nice. <laughs> no, but I'm not going to show that. Okay, this one. There you go. Oh, and you would like to know yeah. Christina Aguilera, by the way? <laughs> yes, the yeah. voice is fantastic. Fantastic. Yes. Her voice. <laughs> oh, of course, definitely. I know. So, from BBCLearningEnglish.com. Hi, I am Igor. I came from Brazil, and uh, I usually ask questions uh, very uh, directly, and uh, like, uh, "Where is the bus station?" But uh, uh, I, I want, uh, I would like to uh, uh, be more polite. And uh, how can I ask this? Can you help me? Do you know? Yes. Where's the toilet? Where's the hospital? All of those were direct questions. They're easy to ask and understand, but sometimes, if we want to be polite or friendly, we ask indirect questions, like this. We can use phrases like, do you know? Could you tell me? Would you mind? And is there any chance you could? For example, do you know where the cafe is? Could you tell me when you'll finish the report? Would you mind telling me where the toilets are? Is there any chance you could help me with this? We can also use if and whether, like this. I wonder if you can help me. Do you know if there's a bank near here? Could you tell me whether Mark prefers fish or chicken curry? So now you can stop asking direct questions and start asking indirect questions instead. Okay, let's try. 
Um, can I ask you, excuse me, could you tell me where the bus station is, please? Don't forget, sometimes it's better to ask a direct question. Like, if this goes off, don't ask, uh, excuse me, uh, would you mind terribly, um, if it's convenient to you, uh, telling me where the nearest fire escape is? It's okay to ask a direct question. Where's the fire escape? Okay, cool. Very good job. Okay, do you like it? Yes. yes. Like it. Okay, yeah. cool. I like yeah. All right, so tell me, guys, what is the name of the person that is really hard for him to, oh. to, to use on direct questions? I don't remember. The <laughs> Brazilian. Yes. The Brazilian one, yes. He doesn't open his mouth. Uh-huh. Yes. I know. I'm Igor. Oh, yeah. Igor, definitely. <laughs> yes, yes, Igor. You see, he's from another country trying to speak English. So you see that they, they have a different accent? Yes. Yeah. Okay, yeah. You see, that's why I chose in that video. Okay, now... The British girl, of course, you already get used to that sound. Okay, so tell me, guys. Um, so what was his problem, by the way? What was Igor's problem? He wanted to, to do well with a direct question. Exactly, because his problem is that he, he's too direct, right? Okay. Yeah. okay. Speaking polite. Exactly. So tell me, guys, according to what you have heard and what you have seen, what is really important to learn how to use indirect questions? Volunteers, thank you, Oscar, go ahead. Because if you use that question, you can be more friendly. Mm -hmm. he, he said that, and also you can be more polite. Okay, very good. Yes. Do you, re do you remember some, uh, some phrases all that they use to convert the questions into polite weight? Jose de la Oz, he will play. Do you know? Repeat, please. Do you remember some phrases that we use for indirect questions? Yeah. Uh, can you help me? Where is the, the bathroom? Mm -hmm. I think. Okay. Please. All right. Yeah. And any other one, Brian? Do you know? Do you know? Very good, Maria. Yeah. Can you help me? Can, can you help me? Tell me yeah. where is the where. The bus station is very good, excellent job. And also, I know that you have seen two new words, right? For you, yes, yes. if, the, if and if whether. Weather. 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 exactly. If it's a conditional, guys, you have not seen the conditional yet, okay? Okay, uh, yeah, but you will see it later on. And what whether is it's a, an me. option or oh, this or this, could you tell like me? Exactly. They are not common. Basically, we use them more in British way than American way. Okay. Mm -hmm. But it's really important that you learned it. Okay. 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 You, you, uh, anything else that you would like to ask right now? No. No? Very good. Okay. We we'll continue with that. <laughs> okay. Now, guys, this is time for you to write. Okay. So do me a favor. Take a piece of paper. Okay, grab a piece of paper, um, a pen, whatever, that's okay. And I'm going to put in on screen some writing exercises. The ones that will, they will be in a direct way, and I want you to convert them into indirect way, okay? And you will have only two minutes to do that. Okay. It will be enough, or should I give you three minutes? Excuse me, can you tell, can you repeat, please? Absolutely, Oscar, no, not a problem. Okay, you have your piece of paper and your pen and your pencil. I'm going okay. to play in your in my screen. I will share with you. There's some uh, writing activity, okay? okay. I will, uh, basically, the writing activity will be questions in direct way. And the same question that you see, I want you to transform into an direct way. Ah, okay. Okay. And then we're going to come back and we're going to share. Okay? Okay. Cool. So let me just a couple of minutes. And then we're going to go. Okay, cool. Okay. There you go. Let me share right now with you. Can you see it, guys? No, I cannot. Don't tell me you cannot. Yeah. No. I can. Yes. I can. I can. Nothing. 
Everybody can except for me is a Madeline. What happened with your internet, Madeline? I don't know. But my but I cannot to read it. You cannot read it. Only Madeline has a problem? Because he's little Madeline. In me yes. because I'm it working on looks the telephone. Erased. It erase it. Okay, cool. No problem. You know that the teacher always has a solution for that, right? Okay. You know that. Okay. So don't worry, guys. I will help you. There you go. I'm going to do it just because of you, Miss Madeline. There you go. I will fix it. Don't worry about it. There you go. Really? Automobile searching for a new owner? That's nice. There you go. Okay, let me share right now my screen. Now, can you see them? Yes. Yes, I can. Okay, let me, let me put it in a big presentation just for Madeline. Looks okay, better. Madeline, can you see it? And more or less, so, so. Are Ale you coming to the party? Yes, I can. Very yes, I can. good. Okay, guys. So basically, we do have the 10 sentences that you can see on your right side, on your left side, my apologies. And um, basic, and on your left side, you have the the beginning of the indirect question, okay? So I, I, will, I will put it like an easy way for you, okay? okay. So all that you got to do is to transform the questions into indirect question using the ex phrases expression that you have there. I will give you three minutes to do that, okay? You can do it right now. You can start. Okay. Only part A, okay? Part B, no yet. Okay. Okay. That means, guys, up towards the uh, yellow. Well, I think it's a line. I'm not sure about only, that. Only the answer. Yes. Yes. Only you gotta convert the question that you have on your left uh, in the indirect way using okay. the expression that you have on your left. Okay. Cool. Lo tratamos algo de conquistar y nada. Really? Okay, cool. ¿Qué le pasa? ¿Qué le pasa? ¿Qué le pasa? ¿Qué le pasa? Teacher, yes, what Natalie. Is the, uh, number one, what is the? Uh, I thought I didn't. Uh, I where didn't. is the, Where is the station? Ah, uh, what is the station? Mm -hmm. Okay. Ah, uh, we are going to answer to no the answer the question. You're going to transform that question into answer a question. Ah, okay. Use the, use the phrase that you have on your left, on your right side. Could you please tell okay. me? Okay. In the meantime, guys, I want you to put all yourself on mute, please. I think it only lasts one minute, guys. Only one minute more. I has I has uh, this practice in the afternoon. Very good. So you will do it great. Yeah. Oh. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's nice. Number three, uh, tell me, please. How, how, does it, how does it work? Thirty seconds, guys. Twenty. 
15. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, one. Ah, stop. Oh my God, teacher. Don't worry, guys. Ah, you have no well. finish all of them, okay? <laughs> she, she had to stop. Three, yeah, exactly. Three. I know, I'm sorry. Yes, <laughs> time, yeah, time with me is, woof, don't worry about that. Okay. Just um, if you could um, only answer three, that's fine. As long as you answer them correctly. Okay. All right. Let me ask really quickly. Um, Omar, where is the station? Uh, the... In under red way, please. Could you tell me? Ah, ah the direct, I know. Uh, and the red one, please. Okay, yes, sorry. Okay. Uh, the first one is, could you tell me where the, the station is? Very good, excellent job. What about number seven? Um, I Mar seven. Maria. No, no. What no. time are you leaving? <laughs> what, um... Think about it, you... what, what time are you leaving? How you say it in an indirect way? Uh, Could you? Do, uh -huh. Remember that is, do you know? Uh -huh. Do you know uh, what the answer uh, is what? What time? What time are you leaving? Do you know um, the, do you know what time do you know? <laughs> That's really tricky one, right? <laughs> <laughs> yes, because I think it's to do. Uh-huh. Is know? it easy? <laughs> uh-huh. Do you know? Um, do you what, know what, what time? time? Uh-huh. I uh, You are leaving? You are you are leaving? You are leaving? Very good. Excellent job. Okay. 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 Osman. It's not are you leaving? Are you leaving? No. Mm -mm. Very good. Uh, Mr. Osman, where are I you from? Sure. Yes, sir. Uh, can, can you tell me where are you from? Uh -huh. uh, do you remember that is no? Can you tell me? I would like to know. Use that phrase. I would like to know. Ah, okay. Hmm? I would like. I would like to know uh, where 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 you from are. Ah uh, ah uh, ah. Uh. Do you remember, guys, that an uh, indirect question when you we saw that yesterday? Uh, the indirect question with verb to be. The direct one, we use the verb to be before the noun. Is that correct? Yeah. Well, but when we're doing the indirect question with verb to be, the verb to be is before or after the noun? After. Okay, after. exactly. It's after. So use it, Osman. Try to do it again. I would, la I would like to know... Where are you from? I would like to know where. Um, where? Where you? You're from, where you? You're from, where you're from? Very good. Where you're from? Where, where you're, you're from? from? Excellent job. Very good. Uh, okay, let me double check number one, Madeline. Where is the station? Could you tell me? Um, can you tell me where is the bus station? Can you tell me where is the bus station? Yes. Are you sure, guys? Me. Are you agree, guys? No. 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 no why not? No. Why not, uh, Alberto? You tell me. <laughs> because it's not good. Uh, Listen carefully, Madeline. Why not, Alberto? Because the person is asked about, about the station. Uh -huh. about the station. Exactly. Uh, so the station. That's one reason. And what happened with the verb to be? The verb to be is the after the, the preposition. Cool. 
After the preposition, guys? After the name. The after the name, after the, name, after the, the subject. subject. So in that question, what is the subject, guys? Which one is the subject? Station. 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 Okay. So how can you jump for that? Station. No, that's a station. No, no PlayStation. It's station. Just a station. Okay. So the answer is, guys, or the uh, the sentence is, where is the t the station? Could you please tell me where? Where the station is. Very good. Where the station is. Remember, the verb to be is at the end okay yes that's what we're practicing guys because it's not the same just to listen and to see that to write to put it in practice it's totally different that's why we're doing these kind of exercises okay and that's the only way that you memorize the rules very good listen to you maria no me no oh who, who no, is it teacher i have a question ah, Patty, Patty, is... go ahead Patty. yes uh, i have a question go the ahead. answer the question, where are you from? Mm -hmm. I don't remember. Oh, the answer for where are you from? Yes. Okay, the answer was, I would like to know where you are from. I would like to know where you are from. You are from. Yes, remember that on direct question, the bird to be goes after the subject. Mm -hmm. Thanks. Very good, you're more than welcome. And last but not least, let me check. Jose de la O, are you coming to the party? Could you let me know? Hi. What happened with Toffee? <laughs> Could you please let me know, Jose? I cannot hear you. We cannot hear you. Yeah, that, now we can hear you. Go ahead. Can you hear him, guys? No. No. No? What happened, Jose? Microphone is... I think the microphone. We cannot hear yeah. you. No. Me, uh, Mister. Don't worry. Me? It, uh, let me double because check. Who, Julie. Have... Julie. Let's give a chance to Julie, okay? Julie, can you please answer that question for me? Which one was it? Sorry. The one that is, uh, are you coming to the party? Could you let me know? Let me know if you're coming to the party. Mm -hmm. Okay. Could you let me know if you're coming to the party? Very good job, excellent job, excellent. That's right, yes, Maria. Okay. Okay. It was Maria? Yes. Okay, that, sure, that, I'm listening to you. Right. If, if, okay, could you tell me now if are you coming to the party? Are you coming to the party? You are coming to the party. Yes, no? you are coming to the party. Remember that okay. under a question, where to be goes after. The subject. Okay. That's what you have to do. That's why I, I we're doing exercises, guys, because I want you to to have in your mind what is the structure a direct way and what is the structure a indirect way. Okay. okay. Usually it changes completely. Right. Okay? okay. So the one thing that you have to do is to, to identify first of all the subject, and then also know what is the main verb. In this case, the verb to be. So remember, direct way verb to be goes up before the noun. Indirect way verb to be goes after the noun. Okay? Okay. This is really important that you know that. And we have seen that, but it's really important that we um, get familiar with that. And the only way, practice. Practice makes perfection. Okay? Teacher. Yes, Madeline. I have a question. Yeah, I'm listening Tell to you. Tell me, what is the answer about the number one? Ah, the number one. Uh, yeah. Number one. Uh, could you tell me where the station is? Ah, where the station is. Mm -hmm. Okay. I told you where is the bus station. Exactly. Yes, I understand. Okay. Yes, I understand. Don't worry about that. Okay, yes. guys. Are you ready for the tangle twisters? Yay, yes. Yes. right? Yes. Okay. Yes. I'm ready. All right. Uh huh. Do you remember yesterday once? No, B, B, B. Be, 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 be
No. Don't tell me that you do not remember. Who can remember for me? Okay. <laughs> yeah, I know. But it was really nice, actually. <laughs> All right. We're going to remember that, okay? So don't worry about it. All righty. Let me double check which one will be. Okay. Okay. I'm going to write it for you. <laughs> yeah, we're going to write it. Oh, who can remember that? I know that you have a really good mind. Who can remember that? Nobody? Come on. Nobody. Come on, <laughs> guys. Black bugs beat a big black dog on his big black nose. That's fantastic. Who said that, by the way? Miss Julie, what was it you? No, Iris. Iris. Oh, very good. Okay, okay. Let me share it right now with you guys. We're going to practice that. Okay, just listen, please, and then we're going to practice. A big black bug bit a big black dog on his big black nose. <laughs> a big black bug bit a big black dog on his big black nose. Okay. No. Enough. Okay. Who has a memory? Go ahead. Thank you so much, Omar. Go ahead. What? <laughs> All right. Well, uh, Alberto, one more time. Are you are you agree with Alberto? Yeah. Okay. That's because I'm a nice teacher, okay? Thank you. Thank You're more than welcome. A big black bug bit a big black dog on his big black nose. A big black bug bit a big black dog on his big black nose. All righty, Alberto, that was enough. No, that was enough. All right, guys. You know what? Right now, guys, it is really nice because we're going to practice that, but in a different way. Okay. I, you know what? The first time that you pronounce it would be like, uh, but it's really nice if you like try to get into the character, you know? For example, let's practice in a rapper way. <laughs> That's why I have my hat like that, you know? Okay, yeah. You can say that a big black dog with a big black bug and a big black nose. <laughs> you see? It's amazing. <laughs> and it works. A big black bug. Big like yeah, a who want to try it? Okay, Francisco, you, you, you look like you're a rapper. Go ahead, sir. Let's listen to you. Pay attention to Francisco. Come on, 50%. Uh, 50 cent, yes. <laughs> a big black bug did a big black dog on his big black nose. That's fantastic. You see, that works. Excellent. Who else? Who looks like a rapper? Oh, yes, Alberto, come on. You can do it, man. There you go. A uh, big black bug did a big black dog. <laughs> no. No, 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 no. You need to get into the rapper character. If not, it's not going to work. Okay. <sighs> Let me try. Yes, you can do it, sir. A uh, big black dog. A big, <laughs> a big black dog. A big black dog with a big black dog on, a, on his big black nose. Oh, not too bad. But I need a rapper character. A big black dog like that, you know? The next time. <laughs> yes. Okay. Next time. All right. Who said that? <laughs> Brian. Right. Yes. Tell me. Yes, you can say the same um, exactly uh, yeah, tangle yeah. twister, but in a rapper way. Uh, it's a bleak, big black buck in a bleak black dog. It's a bleak black nose. Very good. Not too bad. Okay. Now, guys, you can say it like if you were like, hmm. All right? <laughs> Who want to try? Who's sleepy, by the way? Let me double check. Oh, my, Osman. Very good. <laughs> yes, he's sleeping, so he's going to do it. Okay, like a big black bug with a big black gun, like that. Okay? You too? Me? Yes, yes, of course. Oh, okay, okay. You were sleeping. A big black bug with a big black dog on his big black nose. No, don't do it with an energy. Do it if you're almost falling asleep. Again? 
Yes, again, but if you're sleeping. Ah. Uh, in a sleeping way. A blue black dog is a blue black dog on his big black nose. No. <laughs> you see? <laughs> why, why I ask you that, guys? Because if you do that, you gotta open your mouth no matter what. And that helps you with the articulation of your face muscles. That's what I ask you to do that. Okay. Right. So, and, and then Osman's wife, is, what happened, honey? I don't know. Hmm? It hurts a little bit. Okay. <laughs> Very good. Okay. Oscar Mahanu. Okay. You look like a DJ. So could no. you please, <clears throat> yeah. So could you please be so kind to do that with a DJ way? Like that? That would be nice. Okay. A big, a big black bird with a big black dog on his big black nose. Very good, but it doesn't sound like a DJ. It's not like a robot. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. Okay, good. Good, good. good. Do it again, please. A big black bird with a... Sorry. A big black bird with a big black dog on his big... On his big black nose. Ooh, very good, very good. Okay, excellent. Arturo. Hi. Could, hi. <laughs> Could you please be so kind to say, like, if you're smiling? Okay, I try. Okay. <laughs> okay. A big black dog beat a big black dog in, in his big black nose. Noise or nose? Nose, nose. Nose. Okay, do me a favor. Try to imagine that you're saying that to a little baby child. Okay? Okay. And you need to mm -hmm. make the baby smile. So you need to smile. <laughs> okay? Okay. Do it. Okay. I, a big black dog beat a big, a big black dog on his big black nose. Very good. You see? Now yes. it's much better. Very good. Yes, you see? Okay, and last but not least, we're going, this is going to be the new big team. Sorry, the new participant, Danielle. <laughs> Hi, Mr. Kuvies. Hi. Hi. Okay, the last thing, you're going to say it as well. You, you can give it a try, okay? Doesn't matter if you like stumble, that's okay. okay. But in this case, I just want you to say it in a, in a passion way. Like if you are, yes, like if you're trying to say that to your girlfriend. Ah. A big black dog, <laughs> a big black nose, you know? You know? Okay. okay, there you go. <laughs> okay, teacher. Use your imagination. A big black bug. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I try, I try. Do your best. Um, a big black bug with black dog on his big black nose. Aha, uh -huh, but sound more romantic, please, because if not, you're not going to have a girlfriend. Okay. <laughs> a big black bug, big black dog on his black nose. Very good. Oh, you see, a ton of voice change. <laughs> All right, and last but not least, I think I'm going to select Iris for this one. Iris, you're going to say like if you're trying to uh, seduce a boy. I'm just kidding. No, like if you're, okay. yeah, like a big dog, you know, okay, like that. Okay, please, go ahead. Flirting. Yes, flirting. A big black bug with a big black dog on his big black nose. Oh my God, that was amazing. <laughs> Very good, excellent job. You okay, you see guys? Okay, we had so much fun today. <laughs> and we practice a lot, okay? So practice the speaking, we've got the, the listening, we also practice the intonation because this is an intonation, guys, actually. All righty. Okay. Any questions so far? Is it good? Oh, <laughs> you know what? It's time to say goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know you love me mm. and I love you too, but it's time yes. to say goodbye, guys. So yeah, okay. please study because next coming week is going to be harder, okay, okay. than this two okay. weeks, so you need to study. And next coming week, we're going to have the Kahoo one with an evaluation for the three weeks. 
actually. Yeah. Yes. Perfect. Yeah. Oh my God, Omar, don't look at me like that. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Danielle, but uh, this is going to be a really tough group. I'm just kidding. Okay. Do the platform activities, please, guys, because it's really important because that helps you also to practice what we have seen. Okay. And any questions, please feel free to text me. I'll be more than glad to help you. I'm not going to answer you right away because sometimes there will be, a, I have to do a lot of things and be in another conference and other things to do. But I will, I promise I will answer as soon as possible. Okay. 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 Thank you. Okay, very guys. Much. Have a lovely night. Take okay. care. Great Thank dreams. You. Good Bye. weekend. Bye. Bon Bye. weekend. Okay. Okay. Bye. 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 Bye.